uh, what we've had till now is a situation where these people, the deep state and, and, and that minority of, of Ashkenazi, fourth generation secular uh, Zionist Jews who, who, uh, who control the deep state, etc., etc., who feel that the country belongs to them. They've, they've been up here and we've been down here and that's, that's not a way to have a conversation. You can't have a conversation like that. We have to be on the same level. We have to face these people eye to eye. That that's, should be the aim of these so-called reforms, which are not anything but simply trying to revert to a more normal situation, somewhat more normal, as existed 30, 40 years ago. Bezat Hashem, <coughs> I don't know if this will be the case, but I'm willing to hope at least that just as this law was passed yesterday or the day before, um, <coughs> other, other laws will also follow, not tomorrow, but in the coming months and maybe years. <coughs> I'm not yet convinced that, that uh, the deep state and the, and the left and the, 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 the people bereft of any Jewish identity and the people whose conclusion it was to cut a deal with the Arabs, I'm not convinced that they've been defeated, but we're beginning to put up a more serious fight. And that's that. That is Baruch Hashem, good news. And that is what. With that, with those ideas, we should, we should uh, go into Tisha B'Av, knowing that we are in a situation today which is vastly different and and preferable to uh, not just what the situation two thousand years ago, but also to the situation two hundred years ago. <coughs> but we also have a lot of work. Left, left, and a lot, lot of, lot of, lot is left on our plate. Much needs to be done, and we have to understand that we're talking about a struggle for power and dominance in Israeli society. It has nothing to do with legal reform. It has, it has nothing to do with peace. It has nothing to do with peace. <coughs> it has nothing to do with uh, democracy. It has nothing to do with. This is all. Uh, these are all. Um, <coughs> these are simply. Uh, jingles and and catch words cooked up by advertising agencies in Tel Aviv and New, in New York uh, in order to bamboozle the, the that massive population in the middle which doesn't quite know what to do with itself but is coming a bit more is is is, is edging more and more I think towards the, those Jews with Jewish real Jewish identity and and feel more less and less comfortable with those who have no Jewish identity Whereas in the 50s and the 60s, the situation was reversed. These people felt that in order to get ahead at all, they had to identify with those people and could not identify with these, these religious, these Jews. We are the problem, you have to understand. In the eyes of, of the left, we're the problem. Because on the one hand, we're normal Jews, right? We, we, we're educated, we might be doctors, we might be plumbers, we might be scientists, we might be lawyers. But we're all, and, and so we're normal people, not like Haredim, who don't, who don't do these things, so they claim. Some of them do, but th that's the claim. But we're also primitive. We believe we believe in this book here, and uh, we take it seriously, and we insist on living according to our traditions. And we know that we are a special people with with a unique DNA, historically and and uh, and ideologically and philosophically speaking. We know that we're unlike any other nation, and we're stubborn. Right, we're azim shebaumoth. Right, and we're am kishe orif. So we have to continue being even more kishe orif, and and not not uh, give up for a moment, and not think for a moment that we're beaten. We're not beaten. It's a long process, but Rezat Hashem, Allah naaleki veyarashnuota, because we have we have the ability to uh, come out on top. Rezat Hashem.